Hi guys, my name is Annie. So today I'm going to be talking about the foreign exchange market and Turkey's depreciation against their currency. So as for right now, um, in 2018, the Turkish lira has sort of reached its lowest point in terms of depreciation. Um, they sort of had this problem occurring already in 2017, but 2018 was when they're sort of reaching this crisis right now. So pretty much what's going on is that their stock market has just been um, just declining to the point where it's almost plummeting, which led to a lot of high inflation and interest rates. So mainly the cause of all of this, all this crisis that's going on is pretty much the Turkey government has a large amount of current account deficits, and they also incurred a lot of high debts within their private sector of spending. And also to relate back to the US, the, um, our president Donald Trump has pretty much doubled the tariffs and the steel and aluminum markets for Turkey. So to get more specific, um, in 2018, the Turkish lira has depreciated 7.24% against the US dollar. And this pretty much hiked up inflation rates up to 15%, and which led the, the central banks to increase their interest rates up to almost 24%, which is a huge staggering number. So pretty much how the Turkish people are responding to this is that they're, they don't trust the Turkish government anymore because the president has really been unresponsive to the situation. So currently they're just, they've lost their trust and now they're buying other foreign currencies and due to the own Turkish lira. So as Annie said, the Turkish lira nearly lost 30% um, against the US dollar during its recession and the inflation spiked to a 15% year high. So as a result, the central bank uh, jacked up its interest rate to 24% because investors are wanting compensation for um, the decline in the value of their money. And this reflects back to what we talked about in the book, The Fisher Effect, which states that um, high inflation rates are going to reflect high interest rates. So this whole situation means high volatility because um, the inflation's high and it's just really unpredictable. So this means there's really high risk in the lira. And as a result, since Turkish lira is fully convertible, um, Turkish people are buying more foreign cash because they don't even believe in their own currency. And this can be known as capital flight, which is talked about in the book, um, when the value of the domestic currency is depreciating really rapidly because of hyperinflation or when a country's economy is shaky in other aspects. Um, which Turkey's is. So when this happens, residents and non-residents tend to believe that their money is likely to hold value if it's converted into a foreign uh, currency and invested abroad. This is going to be an issue because it's going to limit the country's ability to service its international debt and pay for imports. Um, and Turkey is already buying more than it sells and it relies heavily on foreign investment and lending. So this deficit is really going to weigh on its currency even more, especially when foreign investment stops flowing in. Hi, I'm Ansley Herman, and these are some of the professional opinions on the issue. Tim Ash, an emerging markets senior sovereign strategist at Blue Bay Asset Management, shared his opinion by saying that the lira sell-off was due to the foreign currency demand of the residents of Turkey. Peter Mattis, an emerging market strategist at Rabobank, said that the market is essentially concerned with, as seen last August, diplomatic tension could escalate quite substantially. To give some background information on these quotes, Turkey's lira tumble was set off when President Erdogan, the current president of Turkey, said that President Trump's move to recognize Israeli sovereignty over the disputed Golad Heights area it captured from Syria originally brought the region to the brink of crisis. President Erdogan's opinions have raised worries and uncertainty pertaining to ties between the NATO allies that are already under strain because of Turkey's controversial purchase of Russian S-400 missile defense systems. Opinions from traders have said that the move could actually increase the average cost of funding and should improve the bank's credibility after concerns that it could prematurely loosen monetary policy. Our opinions are that there may be other reasons as well for the weakening of Turkey's lira. For example, Turkey imprisoned an evangelical American pastor named Andrew Brunson in 2016, who was charged with aiding a coup attempt against President Erdogan. 
After the U.S. Department of Treasury announced economic sanctions and tariffs on Turkey, Brunson was finally released in October of 2018. The lira was already falling, but Trump doubled import tariffs on Turkish steel and aluminum to put more pressure on the country. America and Turkey have often disagreed on foreign policy, especially pertaining to the Middle East, and Trump placed tough sanctions on Turkey last August, so it makes sense that the currency is weakening. Thank you. It's the end of the world as we know it. I feel fine.